So after installing Windows 11, these are the 11 settings that you need to change so that it becomes efficient and effective. So let's go through each one and one by one. So the first uh, thing you need to do after installing Windows 11 is to uninstall unwanted applications. So let's come here uh, to start to, to settings and then we come here and applications and we say uninstalled app. So here all the installed applications will appear which means uh, default and those that you might install they come in here. So as you can see uh, there are a lot of applications here but they are default um, Windows 11 applications that come by default such as films if you don't want it such as mail if you don't want you can uninstall and then uh, that's the first thing and the second thing is it's about disabling annoying um, notifications that come with Windows 11 so to do that um, you have to come here and see some notification settings here and uh, you can disable uh, these uh, settings here so if you click on these three dots go to notification settings and then you can turn off um, notifications here or if you don't want to uh, not to turn off visual notifications you can turn off uh, the sound notification by coming to volume settings and then under volumes you come here to sort to say more sound settings and under sounds then windows default sound scheme makes sound so if you come and say no sounds it means you are going to be notified or to have any sounds coming from microsoft windows 11 and the third um setting that need to to change is that uh, you have to disable unwanted taskbar icons so for us to access settings let's press uh, windows key and i that's the shortcut you can use and then we come here and um, we say uh, personalization and we come here to taskbar and here we can able to, to disable a application that we don't want to appear on the taskbar as you can see and also choose change the view if you want them to search by icon and label or you want the search box only depending on your preference or you can hide yeah, alternatively so i'll leave it here and what you can also do is that you can uh, come down here and, uh, and see more settings of how you can uh, change uh, this setting and then the fourth uh, changes that you need to make is that you have to align the taskbar to the left or to the right so under personalization as you have seen here we come here to taskbar and we come here to taskbar behaviors and here it says align center so mine is aligned to the center and i can apply it uh, further to the left depending on your choice and you can auto automatically hide and unhide uh, the taskbar so that is the, the other thing you need to change and then number five you have to change the power settings so windows um prefers it to be very efficient uh, to use less power and of which it affects performance so to make a balanced performance what you have to do is come under system and power and battery and once you've done that and then windows um, will, sh will show you uh, your, your power scheme or a power plan here by default it comes with best power efficiency but i would like to live on best performance so that i get the best out of my computer and then number six you have to change a uh, your default browser so windows by default it forces you to use a microsoft edge so to change that let's press ctrl i and we go to applications and then under applications we come into default applications and here we can change the default application for our browser so let's say that um yeah, we want a uh, firefox so let's say uh firefox that's the one i want then i can make it as a default or if i look at microsoft age because it comes as a, as, as a i can set it as a default or i can choose any other application so this is how you change your default uh, browser in windows 11 number seven so to update your drivers make sure that you go to uh to, to settings by pressing windows i and under settings here you come hit windows update and then you can say check for updates and if that doesn't appear in and it shows an error you can say download and install from the from the website then it can start to download or alternatively you can uh, come here and, and type a device manager so once you've typed device manager and then all your uh, devices they appear here and then you can come and uh, right click and say update driver and then it looks for the latest driver for your machine so number eight 
Number eight allows you to quickly uh, make some uh, snipping uh, to, to enable the snipping uh, tool in, um, in Windows um, 11. So this, the snipping tool, there are two ways you can activate it. It's either you press uh, Windows Shift and S on your keyboard and then it, it comes and then you are able to use it. But alternatively, you can uh, use uh, other means and methods here. So the, this method, you have to use it. To use the print screen uh, key on your keyboard to, to activate snipping tool. So let's go to our settings here by pressing a Windows I and then we come here to accessibility and as we go down here we come here to keyboard and under keyboard we go where it says use print screen button to open snipping tool. Once we have done this and we press our print screen on our machine there it is snipping tool appears. So that's you need to change it for you to easily uh, make some sh uh, snapshots. And then number nine, signing in. If you want to set up your Windows 11 where there is no internet, so you can actually uh, set up your Microsoft account and you can sign in locally. So to do that, let's go to settings. And the under accounts, and then here we're able to 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 to, um, to sign in with another uh, Microsoft account. So we can use a local account here, and then we're able to get in. So this is how. You can use so if you um, can also allow others to, to set it up offline or you can add another account as you can see here and then you follow the, the, the prompt to add a an account uh, locally number 10 creating a restore point so a restore point allows you uh, to be able to restore in case your windows or your computer crashes or the changes that you have put are causing some challenges in your machine so to access a system restore is either you come here and you type uh, system restore point here and then it appears this or alternatively you can go to control panel and still be able to access a system restore point here so system restore allows you to um to create a system restore so you come here and i create and then you name it as my restore point one and say create so once that once you do this then it starts to create uh, your system restore point in case uh, you've changed your settings by mistake and you'd want them to come back to where uh, it was on a better state. So the last um, uh, change that we're going to do is we're going to change uh, what is called night light. Night light allows you to read in the dark so that uh, there is no uh, this brightness, this blue light that causes you to have an, a, a, new, uh, a lack of sleep. So let's come here to settings and we change uh, the settings here. So let's come here under uh, system display and then we come and say night light. So night light will allow you uh, to, 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 to see your, your readings in a darker way so that um, you can easily get enough sleep. Or, so if you have uh, you find your right adjustment, you can turn it on here. And then as you can see, it says a schedule night light. So you can schedule it here so that it starts at what time and what time, the hours. And it can repeat this on daily basis. So this is how you change settings in Windows 11 after installing so that you're able to be productive and to enjoy Windows 11. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video.